I'm a teacher by profession, and through the profession, I've realized, Rory, I do love kids so much. That's what I pursue, and it fulfills me. My my purpose, Rory, I don't want to see the kids making an informed decision. So I do all I can. I know what I cannot save the whole world, but at least one kid at a time, wherever I am, I do that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell me what is much you learn is because you are saying you are a teacher by profession. Are you in a school environment or where do you work so that people may understand clearly for my my mom? Oh, okay. I'm a teacher by profession. I started working as a primary school teacher. I went to high school. Then I um, worked in one of the FETs. Then I decided to resign and join um, one of the um, companies that are state-owned. So um, even there, I started by being an operator. And I re later I realized, oh, no, that's, that's not me. I have to go back to inspiring people, to imparting knowledge. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an educator there, I'm a facilitator, we call it facilitator. So um, that's what I'm doing. And that's in, in, in ESCOM, if you allow me to say that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that, that's what I do. Um, mainly my work is to impart knowledge about the work that we do in that company. And yeah, and during that time, I just find a slot and all that to inspire people and yeah. Tell them more about issues of life. Yeah, I, I, I hear people say that um, I do that a lot. Sometimes I just do it like randomly, not necessarily having a formal setup. I find myself um, getting the chance to motivate people. Yeah. And then, as I said, uh, she's not alone, she's with her daughter, a beautiful, gorgeous. Different people, and from that I learned like different things. I don't want other people's mistakes, and I learn not to make the same mistakes again. But also, other than that, she's also a leader like to me. And growing up under her is like in a way following in her footsteps because I can see qualities in her that are in me. And because of that, I think I'm finding my identity in that way. And yeah, that's just me. I'm still growing, and I'm still finding myself and learning who I really am, but so far that's what I am, that's what I am. Thank you, thank you, Sis Mozi. So, uh, I'm coming back to you, Mom Julia, for a, um, as you said, you, you are developing young people, you are inspiring them, you are teaching them, you spend time with them. Can you just tell the, the listeners for how do you operate? Because I think, uh, one, one parent somewhere is listening and this parent maybe she's encountering some challenges with uh, his children somehow. Now she wants to hear from you or he wants to hear from you. But how do you deal with the, the challenges of our, our teens this nowadays? Okay, uh, firstly let me say we, we, we have um, uh, 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 now and then engagements with teenagers through the uh, the argument like that's why they like we, we ask parents to give us their teenagers maybe maybe let me ask this sorry for, for interrupting uh, is it a, 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 a is a movement or is it an organized entity at any time if I, I want to know Okay, this is how it is. I'm working with Teenage Movement. It's on Facebook. If you go to Facebook, you'll get Teenage Movement. That's um, a, a formal setup where we bring together young people. We're not concentrating. Actually, the, the, 
the, the, the, the aim of it is to get the kids out from the street and put them in a formal setup, teach them the weight and teach them about life issues. We invite different people to come and be with us. We have camps um, once a year in September during the holidays. So if you go to our Facebook page, you will see our um, daily calendar there where we have camps and we, it depends on where our majority is that we set up a, a, a camp at that area. Um, for the past two years, we had one in Hamaskra and last year we had one in Aratendeke in Genk in Aydin. And yeah, so the information is there on TEM, it's teenage movement. So we, 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 we have a set of mentors that meet now and then to see what the needs of the community is as far as teenagers, teenagers are concerned. And I must say, uh, Pastor Makubunne, we, we, we are facing a real, a, a, a serious problem about teenagers because the world is moving at a faster rate. And mm -hmm. the teenagers, they want to explore. And then as adults, let me take an example of um, a, a setup of a family on a lay parents and they are raising teenagers. None of these teenagers are the same. If you have four kids, they are all different. Like for an example, I think uh, Botu will allow me to give an example with them as my kids. My kids, I've got two kids, Botu and Klantla. With him, Klantla, um, he's a boy, and I believe for all these qualities that he has, it's coming from the fact that he's a boy. You, I didn't have much to deal with with him because he was, you tell him to do something and then he does it. But when it comes to Butsi, he's she's an inquisitive person, which is a very interesting uh, personality. And I always say to parents, you must, you, must, you must understand when kids question things because they want to know. They want to make a decision and follow something that they understand. So a, a parent can think, Hore, if a person has a personality, yeah, but you can you can feel no question too much. I think at some point, Linda Niki feel like someone understand, and she wants to understand the core of the thing. So that when she follows, it's with her heart. So none of the kids can be the same. Kids are individual. Teenagers are individuals. Now we come to our movement. We deal with a lot of teenagers. We find that sometimes we have two hundred in a camp. But through God's grace, I can say this that. Um, I believe Pastor Clara is listening. She's one of our, our, our she's a founder of that um, movement. Um, we, 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 we deal with um, different characters and if they are 200 and we have to keep them in a campsite for a weekend, you can imagine, I'm talking about teenagers. Yeah, but through God's grace, I don't know how, for the past two years, we never had any problem with them. I'm not saying there's something that we are doing better than any parent out there, but I'm just saying this is a calling for all of us um, that are in that movement, that we are able to contain them, to understand them. Sometimes we are forced to step low to their level. Yeah, and get to understand why are they behaving like this? Why is this kid um, having their pants hanging? You know, we don't, when they come to our uh, environment, we don't start by questioning them. We start by understanding them and check where they come from and start feeding each and every one of them from the level where they are because Abatwari. If, if I may ask them, uh, because you are saying about 200, when you are in a camp space, do you group them according to their ages? How do you group them or how do you handle them because they are many? Imagine I'm a teacher as well. Uh, my class, um, we find that my class is about 35 learners in a class of 40 if it's abnormal. So sometimes it's difficult to deal with them in a small space of a classroom uh, space. So I'm thinking or I'm asking myself, for how do you do it when uh, with 200, and I don't know how many teachers are there, a world world by hand, like 200 people, especially teenagers. How do you do that? Do you group them uh, according to their ages, their, 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 their sex, voices, this side, or you are mixing them, or what? Okay, our mentors um, are, consist of, 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 of guys and girls, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, we are all called for this. Um, we strategize before we start. And then when we get to a campsite, I'm just gonna give an example with one camp that we had in Hamaska. Um, we wouldn't necessarily group them as such, but we know what if we have 
um, let's say 10 guys that are mentors, they'll be able to handle the boys, right? And then sleep with them in their dorms and all that. And then the ladies will be will, will handle the girls. And amongst the teenagers that we have, we've got the ones that we are grooming to be leaders. So it becomes very easy if we share, we give them responsibilities. Right now we are on the front line, but we have delegated responsibilities. There's this one um, um, uh, day that I want to, that stood out uh, during that camp was, um, we, we, we want to see who comes first um, in the morning devotion uh, in the morning, Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. by five o'clock. I'm telling you, these teenagers will wake up very early than the earliest. Like they will compete in waking up early, and we didn't encounter any problem in bringing them to because we always say whoever that comes first, then they will be in a leadership. They show urban leading qualities of leadership, leadership roles. They will get to get the privileges of um maybe you you, you check what the kids want. Baba Mbarataho like being on the camera, like being on the media while we are there. Baba Mbarataho they can control in the kitchen the menu that we we cook and all that, some of the sound system and all that. So we give them those privileges, like we, 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 we give them as incentives. So it becomes more easy. And one camp is different from the other. Yeah. And what you are doing is just the same as me in class, because you are engaging with them time and again. So while you are engaging with them, Utolo Honogono are all absent-minded. She's not here or he's not here. Or maybe when you talk about a certain topic, one either emotional somehow. Or uh, this topic, so I remember one time I was talking about, we were reading a book, and then this book talks about uh, offense, or this person offended me somehow. And then uh, somehow uh, it, it encourages the author, encourages the author, forgiveness. So I, I gave them a, a, a scenario, a, a case study. My case study, as I was just narrating the case study to, to this learner about to about forgiveness, this other learner cried, literally cried in the class. And then I said, why are you crying? I remember what you are saying. It touches me because uh, that's what I went through. And uh, I didn't know what I should forgive that person because that person. So, in those situations, I had to, after the, 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 the period, keep meet and then go for counseling outside at my own time. So I'm thinking about you in your situation where you are, you are dealing with so many kids in front of you. But uh, the family is different, as I'm saying. They are bringing Jabona Hadi right. Baba Mabila abused by their fathers, by their uncles, by their brothers, cousins. So sexually, the parents in Jabona Baba did stepfathers and so forth. So the situation just so how how unless if Lord Azanga wa Kopanali this such situation. I, I agree with you hundred percent. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. Um, I, I'm just going to paint the kind of mentors that we have. They are all as cold as I am. Yeah. Like Banali, the passion, they've got their hearts. Mm -hmm. So um, we, 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 we put them in a setup where they are going to be free. Mm -hmm. uh, at least yes. allow me to say this. It's opinionated though. Um, our, most of our camps, we don't we don't do them in a church setup mm -hmm. because the teenagers, when they see a church, they see another place. I get about a word they considered mm -hmm. like they, they they see another place where you have to be quiet and somebody talks to you. Mm -hmm. You don't talk, mm -hmm. right? So very freedom, very freedom. To such an extent, you might think at some point, some they just play any kind of music, but we monitor they shouldn't listen to bad stuff, mm -hmm. right? So as they come to the campsite, we make them to be more relaxed, to be in a situation of coming as they are, mm -hmm. right? And then as we unfold the programs throughout the weekend, mm -hmm. the mentors, they can spot. I want to give you this uh, sad um, um, scenario that I experienced in one of the camps. Mm -hmm. We, we had, I think it was 140 kids, and amongst those, I spotted four of them that were 
and in, like, this guy into that topic, I'm just giving it as an example. Mm. That way, um, in this, um, what do you call it? What's in this in this film? Is it called the LGBT? Yes, mm. yes. So, so, so we come across such yes. kids. Mm. So four of them. One of them, he, he is a boy, mm. but the personality and appearance yeah. is a girl. Yeah. Three of them, kiddie girls, but they appear like mm. boys. And you come into that setup and. Mm. Children start judging them. Remember, Banaba Baja took from different backgrounds. Mm. Some parents, they tell you, or when you see a person like that, you just run away, or you judge, or you laugh, or you do what. Mm. So, they, the, these four were not comfortable being there. They wanted to be in the camp, but the fact that everyone, they, they, they behave like that differently, mm. or their appearance is different, they were not comfortable. So, we had to sit down with them differently. We spotted them, mm. and then we had to sit down, sit down with them differently. Remember, Rena, our movement encourages or we plant the seed, then God will make it grow. I think it's biblical. Mm. We plant the seed. So we had to talk to them. Seed, yeah. like, like, like a seed of the word of God. Mm. We, we tell them, Hore, um, your, your connection. Uh, Pastor Makumu, I think you, you know, Hore, um, a person needs to have his spirit connected somewhere mm -hmm. so that they can grow in the right direction. Yeah. So now, right now we are encouraging to root yourself in God. Yes. Be connected to God. Mm -hmm. So what we did with those four was, um, I personally spoke to them individually mm -hmm. to say, okay, what, what, what has happened in your life? What's what, the way you look at what kind of problems are you experiencing? Are nabo gai kona this other one? Are nabo gai ibile abanwa? They like they don't need any attention and all that. Kibu like a fourteen year old. Or in your consciously, I decide that one. I'm a girl. I wanna be a boy. Kibu why are you embracing the way you look? Are eki sande kuskolo neki neki abere skete bana basko ni demani sera because one man mautoka abona kala ukanti shimani. Then I decided to wear like a boy, and when I wear like a boy, they are quiet and I'm comfortable. Yeah. You know those situations. Mm -hmm. Then um, I started talking to her, Hore. Um, you know what? Just root yourself in prayer in God mm -hmm. and ask God for all these things. I'm telling you, with these teenagers, if you tell them about God and you make sure that you plant the seed, mm -hmm. the rest will fall into place. Mm -hmm. We won't have to tell them, don't eat this, don't wear this, don't go there. Mm -hmm. It will grow on its own. So those are the challenges that we find, and we embrace them as individuals. Mm. We are all created as individuals, mm. and they are having their own characters. We have to just support them. And uh, really, really, that one is, is, is a serious, serious challenge because of um, is a lesbian somehow. Uh, embrace it just like they did the way at the power. And then, so, Kiyomoyo, the challenge is Papa in Hwanamohorana. Well, Lena as mentors, and then how are you going to reprimand another teenagers? Baba in around the world now. Let's go to Jaja, let's go to Rian. They plan the situation more Baba Baba. And for not forgetting what Oh, these teenagers of yours, I don't believe all of them, they are coming from Christian families. I yes, no, 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 they are not. Yes, mm -hmm. and some they, they don't know God in their families. So when they are coming together uh, as teenagers, then Baba Maja from background, yeah, Christianity, so Baba Fikamola. Then I think this one go handle around, this one go handle around, and all such things at all. Asinga wa ba bolera mudimo, nothing is impossible with God. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. God is good. God hapa lelo kisilo. So omwa omwa o buzwa ziba omwa hati. So Mara can change a little so. And in Chomaki number, Baba Baba never but he lesbian and gay. Baba Baba no influence. I remember because I'm a teacher in Copan and Livona in Nakosolo. One day, we told Mukimara when a good religion for Uno Thomaso. You know, their answers are different. That one, I'm put a number in a Bozana school of the Fajakin of whatever she man. I don't want to engage myself in. In the relationship, so I decided to worry. You don't want to get rid of the tomboy, yana. So, or get any school of the fetch. Or what reason in yana or in The other one, 
funny enough or the bad part of it one time as people are somehow and so those are some of the challenges, yeah, yeah. and uh, I, I, it happened to work. He tried to but she was not ready to talk. Now that I go, I go and deal with my worry. I go and deal with what I learn. I remember this. We are not the situation is so. So I think that's where it, you, even as mentors, you need God more than True. anything else. True. You need God's intervention. That are the situation is so because and the situation is so fragile. It's very much fragile. You can break, you can build. So, and again, in that space, because we is a is a lesbian. Somehow, I got spot a for a little relationship. Can you imagine that? So, how do you handle such situation when you are talking to them? You know, it's it's very very tricky. Like you are saying, we need God. Mm -hmm. I, I will mention this again. I thank God for Pastor Clara. Mm -hmm. You know, she is um, she has um, given us an environment of saying before we meet with the teenagers, we need to pray. Of course, we really need to get God's guidance because one team that we have this 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 year will not be the same as the team that we have next year. Mm -hmm. So we just need God to guide us. For okay, this time we are going to deal with them this way. Mm -hmm. And this time we're going to deal with them this way. And he always, God always guides us for a, um, we shouldn't treat them in a way that will make them feel out or feel not accepted. Remember, we've got different mm. ones. Like, Baba, they, they haven't even been to church. Mm. But I'm telling you, with us as mentors, mm. and the selected few that we select when we get to the mm. camp to say, these ones are the older ones and more mature, they can help us reach mm. the younger ones. Mm. It, it works very well. Mm. And uh, Renale, there are those sessions where you, you have one is to five, like one is to five, we are in groups course, and then yeah. we talk mm -hmm. and they are able to say what they feel. Mm -hmm. And whatever they are saying, we, 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 we get back to them with a feedback, like being guided by God on how do we deal with this, mm -hmm. you know. And I, I'm telling you, I wish we the parents, as much as we are dealing with the teenagers, mm -hmm. the, the, there's a wish that is in my heart and I believe when this is 2024, it's going to happen, where I can meet with the parents of the teenagers. Mm -hmm and talk to them to say you know what as much as we want them to do the right thing there are times where you don't have to be hard on them you know uh, we, we don't want them to be to pretend in front of us and i tell them every now and then or guys i don't want you to pretend in front of me if i want to see be the yourself truth, be yourself so that i can be able to deal with the right thing, thing. You know, when you go to the doctor, so like a headache, or like a or like a you're gonna be diagnosed for wrong things. So if they pretend to me or one they are Christians or they are not Christians, I'm not gonna deal right with them because I want the original them. I don't think Mujimunya gonna pretend. No, no. You have to feel this thing, accept it as it is, and run with it. When I open your own, if it's genuine from your heart. Mm -hmm. Don't do it because I'm doing it. Do it because you know this is the right thing to do. So this is what we are trying to do with the young ones. Mm -hmm. It's a very challenging situation. Yeah. And I can imagine the parents or how are they coping because not all parents can understand the teenagers. Mm -hmm. And some of us as parents because we don't understand them, we break them. Mm -hmm. That's why they run away from us. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, maybe parents should use these platforms so that we can help them because that's what we are all about to help them deal with the situations. We're not gonna get it right 100%, but as long as we guide them so that they make informed decisions, that is the desire of my heart. Mm. Mm. And then another thing that I want to ask, Tukorna, when you are meeting in your, in your, in your, in your camps, uh, are there specific topics that you are dealing with? 
this. We do have specific topics. We deal with the spirituality. There's a time where we are dedicating the time to God. We worship. We've got the praise parties. We sing and dance to um, uh, godly music. And then there are times where we play games. Mm -hmm. We play games like um, the games that they love. They come up with the ideas of the games and then we play those games. There are times where we have uh, people that will guide them, guide the carriers. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what you can do as you grow and all that. Mm -hmm. And there are times where we, we, we just sit around and we have uh, our leisure time, swimming and all that. Mm -hmm. And when they are relaxed, that's where we engage one on one and all that and hear from them. When are the questions and answers times? Mm -hmm. When are the times where we, we, we are talking like that, we allow them to talk? And to, we, we, we create a space where we say it's safe, where we talk about things and they are able to talk. Um, we assure them, Hore. Now, are some of the things that you can, yes, let the parents know, and what are the things that you don't have to let parents know as long as you guide them in the right direction? And well, those topics that you know, we teach them about the kingdom, and encounter. Yeah, we do have that. And again, we are born again. Baba, understand the salvation. For what is it to be born again? In real, 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 real. Not just to go to church and come back. Yes. Not just to go to the camps and come back. Not just to read the Bible. But to have a fellowship. Redemudim, I will an encounter, a close relationship with So, I, 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 and I, I understand what is possible because uh, taking it from my my, my, my life, for I, I, I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ at the age of fourteen, and I was at the age of yeah, 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 this ones. So, I had an encounter. I am born again, and then. Okay, change in my life. So I'm, I'm talking about such situations for a, 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 when you are with Pastor Clara, just like that. You have that mo moment uh, teach as much as some of them, they are not coming from a, a Christian families. They are just coming from the neighborhood. They invite a friend next door because they to me and the family, they don't go to church. So such situation because if you look at it, you are doing that, I I don't know. Are you doing that? Yes, we are doing that. We we, we, we we open our days and close the day with prayer, worship and sharing of the word of God. That's what we do. We dwell on that much. And you know how we do it? We we let the the, the ones that are rooted in, in, in Christianity to be the ones that are sharing the word. Yeah, after we did the worship, soak ourselves in the worship and we we get into the presence of God and then we let them share to one another. Like uh, this morning it will be Buddha that we will be sharing and then in the evening it will be someone else that we will be sharing. Yes, okay, I understand that. But now I'm talking about Kenya and we understand that more or after the camp Reba Babil and encounter with Jim. Like I feel I am finally changed. The parents who are not going to be able to do it, why can't they be able to do it? 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 Why can't they I've experienced this in my life for campaign. So if that is the case, then I, I, I think you are doing a great job to our, our, our teenagers. Yes, we, we always get a feedback in every camp. Mm. Which, you know, the previous camp mm. had an impact to me. Let's say maybe we, we had um, five of them, which are, which are young people at the start of the camp. And then the next camp will have, let's say, 10, 15 that have been converted in the previous camp mm. and that will invite others. So it, it makes a very, very, very big impact. We do have that spiritual um, feeding moment that we yeah, are sharing the word of God. So let's just pause for a while, Amir, Papa Joe, and then we will come back. Don't go away, uh, good listeners. As you are dealing with teenagers, uh, don't you experience uh, such situation where no one will leave uh, teenage mothers in your, your groups or what? Um, we, we, we do have um, 
the the ones that bounced back mm -hmm. you know in their teenage they experienced that and then they realized oh, like, they made a mistake mm -hmm. you know uh, some kids who friends or oh, yeah we are doing this is a good thing when they come back but uh, early, you know the teenage pregnancy so the ones that we have as um uh, leaders they have experienced it and then they are saying to the young ones please don't go that way there's no need for you to go that way as they are talking to you like this please listen there's no need to get it wrong before you get it right you know because sometimes they will tell you the things no it's our time let me experience this and learn myself you know with that one i want to say this if there's a teenager that is listening you know a wise person uh, learns from other people's mistakes. Mm -hmm. If mistakes happen in your life, let them be genuine mistakes, things that you didn't know. But for as long as your eyes are open and you know when you go there, you can come back pregnant. Don't go there. Mm -hmm. Why can't you why can't you just create a good future first time ever? Because there's no time. You know we live once. Mm -hmm. Now I've seen it now at my age or well, you know what? I could have done it best. I thank God for where I am now. But I could have done it best, mm. you know. So I, I, I'm, I'm aging all teenagers for it. You don't need to experience the wrong things before you do it right. If you can do it right first time, please do it right first time. Mm. Because you might not come back. You might not come back. So those that came back, it's by grace, mm. and God has protected them. There's, there's a lot of things happening out there. What I listen to is, you know, there's. I think we can take the whole day of the Lakajana. When I be spiritual tides, when I live a lot of things, when I have sicknesses, mm -hmm. some teenagers when they they are not recovering even now. Mm -hmm. Some they they, they, they died. Mm -hmm. Some even though they came back maybe with uh, babies, but it's a struggle for them to get back on their feet and they are crying. Mm -hmm. And then while we're still there, uh, because the, 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 a teenage mother it means she is sexually active. Mm -hmm. So, with this 200 uh, girls, I mean, maybe 100 girls and 100 boys around you in, in, your, in, your, in your space, uh, how do you encourage them to be, to live a, 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 a holy life, if I may use that word, where they abstain from this sex, a sexual immorality? How, how do you encourage them? Because, uh, uh, no maganjani, they've got feelings. Mm -hmm. They do. And then they want to explore. And again, with this social media, they see things on, on, on Facebook, on TikTok, on everywhere, the internet, where people are, 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 are pornography. Let me just put it in that way. Pornography. They see that because you, you, you bought your children some smartphones. And then there is data, I mean, Wi-Fi at home. She can go anywhere to, to, to watch. And whether you are there, whether you are not there, while, while you are sleeping, she's under her blanket. She's watching on something. So why am I asking this is because the teenagers, I'm, I'm working with the teenagers as well. Even though my space and Mina with me is every single day, okay. unlike in your case. So you can see what the, the issue that the relationships is there. How do you advise them not to engage themselves the, the relationships? The, 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 the first thing and the most important thing. And again, the, the issue, sorry, the issue or na, uh, as children of God, because you are guiding them towards uh, to live a holy life, a righteous life. So, uh, how do you guide them or they must abstain and you must explain to them I, I think or why because some they will ask why mm. hey, a jolling uh, having sex you know dating such things how do you advise them because as I said they are sexually active the most important thing that we talk about is identity mm. you know it starts with identity yeah. I want to go to Job right now I spot my destination and I put on the navigation, mm. right? Even though along the road, mm. but because my destination is Jobek, mm. 
I will definitely take it. Mm-hmm. Right? What does it mean? I'm not gonna go do the other things that will delay me because I want to get to Jobe before 12. Mm-hmm. Right? So if you have the identity, or what is it? Who who are you? Mm-hmm. What do you want to achieve in life? Mm-hmm. Then you will start making a plan on how to get there. Uh, if you can check. Now, in my space, I once did this um, that in, um, self-introspection or stop taking with the kids around randomly. Mm-hmm. Those that landed in that, they had identity, but they were not firm on their principles. Mm-hmm. You have the identity, sorry, you identify who you are mm-hmm. and where you want to be. Mm-hmm. And then you set boundaries for yourself. Mm-hmm. These are the boundaries. I don't want to delay myself in detouring to doing this and that. If I want to achieve at the age of 25, I want to be a graduate, Mm -hmm. at least my first or second career. Mm -hmm. So you discipline yourself, okay, Mm -hmm. on what you you want to achieve. And you know, um, I I don't know, Holly, when I talk to a 14 year old, what is it? I I normally ask them, what is it that you want to achieve? What is it? You want to satisfy your feeling? Then what? Mm-hmm. What is it that you want to achieve? Because some of, the, some of the habits, they are not necessary in life. They are not. Because if you start feeding them, you'll have to feed them and feed them because whatever that you feed in your life grows. Mm-hmm. You'll have to, where are you going? Because you are growing in another direction, but what is that direction? So most of the time, those that delay themselves in those um, Dilucha Honjona and sexual activities and all that, it's because they don't but some are in the flow. My friends are doing it, so I want to do it as well. I want to experience it because my advice are not in their own spaces and they give each other wrong advices. Then, if they come to you mm-hmm. as a mentor, for a mentor, and now my body, I am Magata, I've got uh, these feelings for yeah. Susi, so is you know, when I look at Susi, so when I'm doing a little crush, I'm so mm-hmm. crush. <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> It's like when you like someone, you like someone, aha. Then, but when crush on what did I have a crush on you, aha. And what are I have a crush on Susie? So, so mental, giddy You know, even when I think about him, you know, as a mentor. And I told you late earlier on, Gary, these teenagers, you feeling they are what? Yeah, they are born and. Uh, but but but, but this nowadays teenagers they are not like us because if now now we're very exposed to pornography, they're very exposed to the phone, the other things. Even though we are talking about our feel, our car, our car is not doing any more so. But those are what we with them. They see the action. They see everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. They've got access. They've got access. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything. Mm-hmm. Now this teenager, what I'm going to remember, Mom Julia, <laughs> Mom Julia, or Mentor Julia, I, I, help me. I, this is the situation, and I, I cannot hold myself. What must I do? Okay. Mm-hmm. First, first you get to the, you, you you ask them for it. Okay. When what do you think? What do you think? Do you think this is good or bad? You know, then they will tell you. And then from there, you will spot or, okay, this person on a Let's say, Ori, uh, uh, I think it is, it's wrong, but my feelings, they are overpowering me. You see, that one mm-hmm. gives me a direction on how to guide that person. If yeah. I identify the one, this is wrong, mm-hmm. then we start steering uh, the person's life in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Remember, we can only guide them. Mm-hmm. They have to do their part as mm-hmm. well, mm-hmm. right? Now, if you want to get rid of a bad habit, you don't get rid of it at the action point. Mm-hmm. Like, Hore, you don't do this, you don't. You start feeling them with the right stuff. Tell them, Hore, mm-hmm. the reason why you it's overpowering you is because somewhere it is fed. There's a source which is yeah. feeding this yeah. so that your appetite can be satisfied. Yeah. Now, um, deprive it. Mm-hmm. Deprive it. Uh, what does the word of God say? Uh, um, Resist the devil and he will flee. Don't feed that. But, what? but before resisting, the scripture says, submit to God. You submit to God. Yes, yes. You submit because to if God. the person doesn't submit to God, you cannot resist the devil. Yeah, you, you don't you don't see it. Yes. Yeah. So, because mm, there's an authority that you you don't have an authority. Yes. Let's come to that point. Mm. You have to submit to the authority, mm. and then the authority 
um, you know, when you opened your email, I think it touched my heart because you said, God, we submit to your authority. Mm -hmm. And when you say to submit to your authority, you're saying, I'm going to take uh, instruction from you. In other words, I'm reporting for duty. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the report for duty. You never know my duties or what are they for the day. Or when you're going to do then what am I going to do every minute to achieve that? Yeah. Now, when you submit to the authority, you're saying, okay, God, I surrender myself, my yes. feelings, my body, and everything, everything. to you. This is a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. You are rested in spirit. Mm -hmm. Then from there, check what you are exposing yourself mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. If everything that you have in your phone takes you in the wrong direction, mm -hmm. don't go there. You've, you, you've got powers to consciously switch it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the young people, and they said to God can work in that way. Mm -hmm. She was a teenager at that time. I think it was in 2018 when I, I, I was with her. She said to me, you know what, now I'm off social media, I'm off WhatsApp, I'm like, really? How are you communicating with your parents and all that? I'm not going to call if I'm not and they know. The friends check up, I'm not going to call if it's very urgent. Everything else will be taken care of by God. You know why? I've seen what it steers my life in the wrong way. So I just want to gain momentum and give it strong in the right direction. Then I can decide or do I go back to social media. Because she has decided consciously, or no, this is what it, it's feeding me to do the wrong things. Mm -hmm. That's why I landed in that point. And then consciously, I did a decision. Teenagers need to make a conscious decision. Mm -hmm. I normally say salvation is not a community project. It doesn't take you and your friend to be saved so that can get to heaven. It's an individual decision. Mm -hmm. If your friend doesn't want to submit to the authority of God, mm -hmm. Do you want to go the direction of your friend? Do you want to live the life that your friend is living? Maybe your friend is even not living a direction. You know, it's very important to feed yourself with the right stuff and be patient with yourself as a teenager. You will gradually grow. What you feed grows. There's no way. What you feed grows. And you tell them, or you feed yourself with what? With the word of God. Pray, read the word of God. I'm not saying go directly like. No, but you've got books that will direct you on how to develop yourself. One test that you have, get somewhere where you can uh, acquaint it. Let's say for an example, spirituality. Maybe you don't know what uh, spirituality is. You've got books that you can read about your mind, your, 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 your body, your soul, and your spirit on how to deal with this three. Because this is the core. You know what? This is the core of the things. Yeah. And if you deal with the spirit, mm. your body will obey. I get it. Rabbi, you know, I remember what a motto is a tripartitan thing. Yes. It's a soul, yes. spirit, in a body. Yes. Why, why? So you, 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 are, you are right when you are saying that. God. Ready, it's a machine together. Mm. Mm. Now I want you to talk to this beautiful girl. Mm. So she was a, you are in grade 12, uh, 12 this year, 2024. Ha, la, 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 la. <laughs> Next year, this time, we will be waiting for your results. Yes, yeah. And you're going to make it because this yes. is a great year, year of extraordinary blessings. So tell me, because you are a young girl and then a teenager, mm. most of the time you're not with your mom mm. and you're dead. Mm. So, when you come across such challenges, because you are part of this movement, you are it's teen what? Teenage movement. Teenage movement. Mm -hmm. And it's been a long time, as much as you are a handbag of your mother. Mm -hmm. I know that. So just tell us, when I, when I know boys are proposing you. <laughs> I know that. Even me, me now, as, you are, as, as old as I am, there are men that are still proposing me, but because I know who I am, I know my identity, so I know her, my standpoint came. So just tell tell the listeners for now, when I conquer a drum, forget about this one. <laughs> it's just me and uh, she knows, she, she knows. Okay. Um, I think I have the advantage of being born into a very Christian family. So from a very young age, really from the word go, that's all I knew. There's nothing more and nothing less. Mm -hmm. And I think that really helped me because at some point I went to boarding school and when I was in boarding school, mm -hmm. I would say maybe, because this is something that happens to a lot of children, especially when they transition from primary school to high school. Mm -hmm. It's a stage where they lose themselves mm -hmm. 
and fall into pressure mm -hmm. and then later they realize if I had stayed and stayed true to myself mm -hmm. I wouldn't be in the position that I am mm -hmm. and it was not necessary for me to get it wrong before I get it right first mm -hmm. but I did and then from that I learned already there's honestly no need in me trying to and forgetting who I am mm -hmm. and stick to what I truly know mm -hmm. and the other thing is that the the place that I'm in right now, it's basically a new environment. Mm. And so I don't know people as much. And I'm not really, when I'm at school, I'm not really a person or I'm a to and all that. There's only a few, a very handful of people that I can tolerate. Because mm. certain people, they don't, we don't share the same incentives. Mm. Of course. Yes. Mm. They, what they believe in and what they want to talk about and all these things, mm. I find it useless to me. And so therefore I don't see a need to interact with them in any way. And that helps me, especially when it comes to the boys, because I can see or know, oh yeah, nah, their intentions are not are not pure. So I can easily just back off and also and some people say, because when I walk around, my face is not necessarily inviting. So some people say I look <laughs> unapproachable. <laughs> and that helps me, it really helps me because then but like a warm or it's just natural. Before you are intentional in doing that. At first, I used to do it intentional, and then it became something that. Why would you do that Because I didn't want to interact with the people who want to interact with me. Because of what I see, you know, sometimes when a person is in a different way, that you guys can't necessarily click. You can't tell them that I don't want to be with you because you're not like me. It's but but you know the, the Bible says we are the soul. Mm. Are you going to? <laughs> You know, you're waiting for what? I'm not waiting for something okay. specific. Yeah. Um, the teenagers of these days. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, stop the this that you were, you saw the teenagers of past. <laughs> <laughs> I have okay. a mother who tells me about oh, all these things, okay. so I feel like in the general of all life. So the our our teenagers these days, we are in a rush to grow up and do things that adults. We want to see the positive side of being an adult like they want to drink they want to party they want to do all these things right that's all they have on their mind that's their whole mindset right and the moment you start talking about god with these people they either ridicule you or they shut you out and they tell you no you're stupid and all that and all these type of things and to be honest i don't want to encounter things that will derail my spirit and derail, and derail my path so I do understand that the Bible says we are the salt of the earth and that we should minister and evangelize to other people. But at the same time, I feel that it's more important for me to get my salvation right before I can help other people. And if what they're going to say is going to damage my soul and how I value my relationship with God, and then I'd rather not interact, get myself right, and elevate a stage maybe when I know that I'm strong enough, I can minister properly. Watching most of my friends to watch all uh, people are smoking, mm. drinking, mm. they're destroying themselves. How old are you now? I'm 14. No. I'm 14, and uh, as I am, I, I'm exposed to a lot of negative things. Yeah. But with my with my kind of family, I I'm actually very good because in every situation, they're always around to tell me, "Hey, hey, just get a and uh, please forgive me. I just go for a just I to no <laughs> right, yeah. um, so overcome these challenges. What I do is uh, I always run back to God. In every situation, my family taught me that if you feel like if you feel like something you feel like you are about to do something new, you should try. I should try to talk Especially to myself. Especially if it's a bad thing. Yeah, if it's something negative, I try to talk, talk to myself. I'm like, okay, how is this thing going to benefit me? How is this thing going to benefit me? And if I feel like no man. There's something in me that keeps pushing me. Mm. I should pray. Yeah. I should pray in every situation. I should stick to prayer, and then I'll be good. Mm. Mm. 
and 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 and, and tell me, okay, which I uh, I know what it is. Peer pressure is just there. But I will introduce uh, one of my learners one day. I was telling him I was so disappointed because I was rating him as one of the good learners. But on this particular day, I just got the same after break, after after 15 minutes. And then I said, No way, you. And I feel that I'm going to go home. He's smelling that. And then I go home while you are going to go home. Then I'm going to go home. No, you're not. You're, you're, then I, I, I will see you after, after school. After school, I will let them remember. Let me tell you something. If they can just give you months, but they are better prove their baby more. You never go back. The judge man is one. Some people go to bar, 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 bar. The influence here, one go bar. Pressure. Every now and then, when you go to the toilet, to the bathroom, but 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 you are not going to the bathroom. But you go to bar, one go bar. Swara, swara. Jee, I'm gonna better you one fail. Better, 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 better. Eh, aru aru swara si tu majo better yo wan o chama o ganu chama o pressure eno mo uno aga ko insult there and there or o scale o ena muna o gasko o gasko o muno mujuang esif ko ube a man ko o sanjo uju esif ko ube a man ko sanjo uju ready to je by jira so I I ended up and by that time he was in grade twelve I ended up I I I ended up taking one pool. I pull a career over it, and from then to the end, we just come again, come again. That's why we wanna get there now. Fifteen minutes after, eh, give a kilo one, give a kilo two, give a kilo three. So those are some of the challenges. How do you overcome them? Ah, me honestly, the the part where by when I don't school, what the one wrong are we? No style, all that. Now personally, it encourages me to do it less. I don't know why you're actually pushing me away from me. Yeah, so it but it's not. But place. it's not one person. What do you mean? And you are not. When you are one, mm. the, the, the following day, what I see for. Then you go to Jacob. Yeah. But how? But how? Number two, then I want. I want to ask you what I mean. So, you know. Eh. Okay. Honestly, uh, there was a situation in our school uh, whereby uh, it really showed me what okay, kids are uh, easily exposed to drugs nowadays. Yes. Uh, there was a situation in our school whereby outside the yard, very close to the yard, mm. there was a there was a tree, yeah, marijuana. Mm. There was a tree, yeah, marijuana, and there was the, another school in the house in the summer. There were kids who used to go there. Mm. Uh, I go to school very early. Now I'm, I'm the first I'm the first learner to get to school. Mm. So there were kids who would go there since school is again about quarter to eight. Mm. There were kids who would go there at about twenty past seven, mm. and then they would start smoking. Smoking, yes. Yes, they were actually it, it started with two of them. And as time went on, it's the kind of like term one. As time went on, by end of term three, I noticed that no man, this group it, it has grown to about ten to fifteen people, mm. which showed me that the influence is actually growing, growing. at a very fast rate. Okay. And I, I I thought it was just the other school, but then afterwards I noticed no man. All the schools. It's all the schools. Mm. Even in our school, every time I pass nearby the toilet, I could smell the dakhar. Yes. I could smell the dakhar there, and then. When I got into the the, the grade seven class, it was the seniors. Mm. It was the seniors, the the ones that were actually meant to Imagine be Imagine primary school, God boy. Mm. You are talking about primary school, not yes. high school. The ones who actually the the ones who were, were supposed to take good influences from are the ones who are showing us the bad influences. It was teenagers. Mm. When I got into class, I saw that there were actually three of them. They were high. Mm. They were high. Their eyes were red. Wow. I could literally I, I literally looked at them. Like, those guys, they were just laughing. Mm. And then I stood there for about five minutes. They they actually they didn't say anything for five minutes. And then all of a sudden someone says, "Do you understand me?" No. I was like, "No, man. This guy is destroying himself. Mm. This guy is destroying himself." And it really surprised me, and it really did hurt me. Into a very personal, it really did hurt me. It really did hurt me, and I. And when you look at them, mm. those teenagers, which are all high, I not I used to tell my kids again. There are enemies of success. Mm. Enemies of success. This thing, 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 
there is time to bond, there is time to die, there is time to be in relationships, there is time not to be in relationships. So at your age, it's time for you to learn. Teenagers, Bobos, it's time for you to learn, not to, to be in relationships. And then the relationships, they understand where they are going. So when you are engaging yourself in those relationships, then you terminate something more. Think about teenage pregnancy. You are still young in grade 9 because we do have the women in grade 8, teenage mothers. And then, how are you going to be able to do it? How are you going to be able to do it? Yeah. But another baby here. And then even responsibility as a mother, for now I must take over. Because this one lena is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a a so much because she is still a baby, a child to, to me as a parent. So those are the enemies of success. Born outside the born out on a level, but never one your peers government. Sometimes, but when we are talking about teenage pregnancy uh, or teenage parents, we are talking only about girls, even the boys. Because boys live on a body, dear to the chest. Some years ago, in my one of my classes, he like a couple of. Same class, not same school, same class. That class in Yak. So, more or more, Banaba Bedi, Mushimani, one Yanaba, oh, I mean, I'm pregnant at this girl, and then Aba Abaluana. Can you imagine? Not more scholar, Kara class one, or more do you want, or more do you in one class? So, because I was so open to, to my learners, to go over there, like engage and I live on just like that. Then I called, I called this girl. Can you matter where now what happened? And then I'm trying to say that we were playing. We were playing. Karen, who told you what a sexy kick 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 and toy kawapalangayona? Who told you that? I don't remember. I know they are very not really but let me tell you, uh Banaba and they were in grade ten. Two grade ten Elena's Yaba a mother and a father. At some stage you could have Maya. By ya, one eye I shall not clean you all are a carpe, unsorrelle beggar, Salumana. As we were a beggar, my lady, poor mamma, the mother, she was so shocked that that incident, yeah, the, the, the daughter is pregnant, the daughter, on Alumana, just like that. Because of what? Because what's in Jill and Jill and you are someone. Those are the enemies of success. They are destroying your future, but they don't chance the lane as a young person. So there are so many uh, elements or factors that are affecting uh, uh, young people this nowadays. So that is why uh, we are calling Bo, Mom, Julia, for it. let them talk to, to these teenagers and again to the parents. Earlier on you said something, this, uh, the kids are not the same. That is so true. My kids are not the same. My firstborn is different to mm -hmm. a second born and third born. Mm -hmm. So I, I, the prayer that I used to pray, Lord, help me to understand who is faith. Mm -hmm. Help me, Lord, to understand who is hope. Mm -hmm. And help me, Lord, to understand who is hope. Mm -hmm. So help me, Lord, to understand different. Mm -hmm. Help me, Lord, to understand who is hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you our faith gets work ya mu thumjwang. Thank you our tando lo gona ke tsebe gore ke ya mu thumjwang. Ene ke sika ba 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 kopa kopa ntsha just like that. And by the grace of God I was able to handle them according to their personality according to their uh, characters and so forth. Mm -hmm. So and even to teach them for in life bona di lo I used to have time with my kids uh, especially the girls can be in Baba Hulu Shimani Salomonia. Kidula Mokits and in their bedroom, Kidula gets a Namohari, then I will talk to them about this and that and that and that. For Baba and Lee, the information. Yeah. And then the, the Bible says, train up a child in a way you should go. For yes. all grown up, as Kabati Pata from the, 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 the way Yamuji. Mm -hmm. So even now, oh no, Rabba Kopa and Ali some challenges, they, 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 they come running. For mama, please stand with me in prayer. Because they've never seen a, an old man, I crack a malabar king. 
whatever we take it to God by prayer and So I'm just saying this uh, young people would say and would hello for as much as you are in the, 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 the ministry or Mama Holena uh, make sure that you, you live according to the principles of the kingdom of God. In the principles of uh, the kingdom of God, Renali lifestyle, Renali the language, Renali the values, Renali the moral, still send your own The lifestyle you are pillar on. The only lifestyle diseases. Can we try HIV positive? I buy. Get the lifestyle diseases. Do not pillar on. Do not do pillar on. So can we pillar life is on John. The consequences that one become whole. Our mentor or whatever before I do whatever decision make it here. I make sure that I check the consequences or not. The consequences that one get them put I I I cannot just do something say long or I get the book or the consequences that one they are good or they are bad. Or I check first or not the consequences that one get them put If they are bad, then I don't go. If they are good, then I will I will go on. So as people, uh, Mom Julia, teach them about the kingdom of God. Teach them about the lifestyle of the kingdom. Mudimu refile the principles, or refile the commands, or refile the laws. And uh, that is why Harukula uh, is just that our our government ila ya 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 tsena ya 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 tlhaka ntsha dilo mo le go re ga re gola re be re rutuwa ka di 10 commandments do not steal do not commit adultery do mo re be sa di kwishisha ba di ga re gola re khono kwa gore o ba o se kwa o tswa o se kwa o tswa o se kwa wa bolela go hlatsi yo maka ga e le khona go go tsa maka a a bana le crush ya ga go kwa ntle kwa a go tsa re a o mama ke be ke ile ga go sibongile ga ntse go bana le or mara wena o o busy mo phoneong o chatha le mang a wa mama ke be ke ke chatha ga ntse o busy o chatha le le motho mo ma ka mo go yena a e sa le issue o phela ka yona o di feed ka yona because we don't teach our kids the principles jamu di 